let's get this out of the garage and into the basement using this 50 foot cable. Sun is going down. My solar day for these three panels in series is over, which are connected to the EB120. Now, the interesting thing about this is putting this cable out here is also going to give me some room to move these out a little further. That's not ideal because we use this driveway in the winter, which is kind of why these are over here because it gives us space to pull into the garage without having to worry about bumping into these panels. But I could deploy them out further a little bit with the longer cable. The goal has always been to get rid of these trees and have panels up here. You can see I could still have a situation where I'd be getting solar power right here. But let's go ahead and get it changed out. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to doing this. Mainly because it would be another set of cables coming in. Um, it would be a fourth set. Right now I have three sets going into the um, basement. Let me show you what they're hooked into. Ace Volt, Ocatel, and MPPT charge controller. Simple, super simple MPPT charge controller. I have a video on that. You guys should check that out. That charges my batteries. And then what I'm possibly looking at is the EB120 coming in somewhere in here. For some of my more beginner folks, you can't get this stuff wrong. Even with that series array over there, you have a positive and a negative here. You can't put them in backwards. So one wire is gonna go into the leads there. The other wire is gonna go into the leads there. The only thing about me, I'm really particular, so I'm gonna try and um, put the cables in in such a way where they're not curling up and all that jazz. So it's gonna take a little bit of intentionality. I'll probably start in the garage deploying it. You have to be intentional with like thinking about which wire is gonna to go to what because you may string these cables out and then you may have to pick one up and bring it all the way back out. So I need to be kind of thoughtful with what the connection is gonna be. I also like to be mindful of the way that the curvature of the cable is gonna go because it is gonna go away and I need it to curve towards that angle in the basement and not away from it. So when I lay these cables off, I have to be very strategic and I have to make sure I get the right end. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. So looking at the natural lay of this cable, this is a female male. So I want a black male to go into here just to kind of keep this how it is. And then I want a red female, black male, red female. Here is my black male. And you can look at this bend. So I'm gonna wanna take that bend in the house like that and then start unwinding it that way. Now what I do typically is I, want, I need black mail and I need it kinda like that. I put something heavy on top of it, like a water jug so it doesn't move as I'm unwinding it. This is gonna be a little awkward because it's on the other end, but it should work out still the same. Just take and I go with the natural groove of the cable and I try to keep it angled the same way, <laughs> but it will want to kind of flip and flop. Now I have uh, the red cable. I got a black male, so now I need a red female. <laughs> it feels weird saying black male. <laughs> now sometimes I do deploy multiple bottles of water to keep the wires in place, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to get the wires ran first. I like to keep my cables relatively flat. I don't like them crisscrossing and stuff all over them. So you can see that black is on the inside the whole way out. Actually, I think I need uh, a second water bottle for right at this door to kind of keep this in line. So you can see that, you know, black, red. Uh, run this out to here. See that red wants to crisscross. And I'm gonna put this bottle right on top to keep that in check. Then what that allows me to do is I can go out to my wires and crisscross them however I need to do it. What I have right here, three panels in series. This is a little challenging. Let's see if I can manage it. Got that one. That's why I don't like panels in series, but you know, brother gotta do what he gotta do. Lift that one down. Disconnect that one. Now, my wires are right here. So I just give them a little tug. I said I want black always on the inside. 
Now, where things could get interesting, <laughs> you can't win on all ends, is here go the dogs. Over here at the back of the panel, the positive and negative may not work out for me keeping these whatever. So I may have to crisscross them out here. Okay, yeah, black is on the outside. I mean, positive. Because I need this one to go into here on the left. Actually, what I'm going to do is straighten these cables out a little bit. I'll unroll them, even though they should be pretty flat. Just make sure that they're not too coily. Now, positivo. Boom. And I gotta lift up this and this to find that. And I'm gonna twist this a little bit. Done. Just snap, but it went in clean. All right, this is the foolishness that I ended up with. This can be problematic, having these curls and these cables, because I expect my wife or myself to be able to drive into here. So I'm going to need to work on these cables to keep them flat. Now let's go in and pull the EBMing into where it belongs. This is the final result. This is a mess, admittedly. But all my power stations, all my source of solar out that back joint is inside the garage, outside of an optional ground deploy which is used with this Sateki. Now, nothing has changed here. This is all still the same. It's just that instead of me having a cable coming in and dead ending here with the MC4 connectors going into the EB120, now I have no MC4 connectors here. That's also a good thing that I needed to do before winter got popping because my wife could potentially, or I could potentially roll over those MC4 cables and crack them. So now it's just all cables that'll be under the load of the car, which typically rolls in about right here. These cables will be pushed over a little bit more and they should be fine to be out of the way.